In this video, I'll show how to add HTML code to Power Automate email messages. Additionally, I'll show the method of embedding external images in an email. Normally, we add text and dynamic fields as I have explained in the mail merge using Power Automate video. You can use this method to send mail merge emails if you are using the new Outlook version. And you can watch this video to send emails with separate attachments for each recipient. This is the HTML code which I want to add to the send email action. Here I can preview the output of the HTML code. You can see the email body has two images. These images are coming from external sources. One is from my YouTube channel and the other one is from pixabay.com. To embed an image you need to use this img tag. And then inside the source you need to copy the URL of the external image. Let me show you how you can copy the URL of an image. This image is hosted on pixabay.com and it is publicly available. To copy the image URL, right click on the image and select copy image link. Now paste the URL here inside the source. You can use a link of any image here. Just make sure the image is not restricted and publicly available. You can see I added the width and the height property to set the size of the image. Beside the images, I have used some CSS code to style the text. You can design your HTML the way you want it. Now here in the Power Automate flow, I will initialize a variable. I'll add a new action. I'll search with variable. Under this variable, I'll select this initialize variable action. I'll name the variable as email body. I'll make the type to string. And in the value field, I'll paste the HTML code. We need a variable because if I paste the HTML code into the email body, most of the HTML tags will not work. But with this method, everything will work. And the recipient will receive the email exactly as we saw here. If you want to embed an image only, then only add this image block to your code and follow the next steps. Now I'll add the send email action. Send an email. I'll select this send an email v2. For the recipient, I'll select this learn and subscribe at gmail.com. This is to show you the process of embedding HTML code and external images into an email. That's why I am sending the email to one email address only. But you can use this method with a different Power Automate flow. For example, if you want to send mail merge emails, here I'll write the subject of the email. Now for the email body, I'll select this enter the data from previous steps and here I'll select the email body variable. I'm not adding any other content here since I have the complete email body written in the HTML code. If you only have an image to embed, then you can write your custom email body and add the variable with that. Now I'll save the flow. Let's try it. I'll click on the test button. I'll select the manually option. Test, continue, run flow. In the recipient inbox, I have received the email with the HTML formatting and it has the embedded images. I added a link here with this image. When I click on this, it opens the page. Let's subscribe to the channel. In the next video, I'll show how to embed images from OneDrive into the email body. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button.